Hey guys, it's Nat. So I'm coming to do a review slash tutorial on a unit I just received from Finger Comer. I purchased this with my own money. This is not a sponsored video. So this is my complete honest opinion about this hair. So I actually purchased three units. Two of the Honeycomber unit and then one of the Havana Fro unit. I was looking for reviews on the Honeycomber before I bought it because I like to be an informed consumer. <laughs> and I didn't see any reviews. The day I got the first unit, I bought two units, one for my sister and one for myself. The one that I have for myself has the highlights in it and my, sister, my sister's is the solid color. Um, so when she got it and she opened up the package, she was like, gee, it looks really thin. And so that kind of got me nervous and I had to wait for hers to come in. And so I went online and I started looking up YouTube and I only found one review. And it was not a good review. This person was very, very upset. And um, they had problems on the business end with finger comber and on the product end. I have to admit, I have ordered from finger comber numerous times. I have never had a negative experience on the business side. Never. If I send an email, I get a response within like 48 hours or less. Um, I always get my packages right when they say I'm going to get them. I never have to wait a prolonged period of time for my packages. I don't know if that's because I'm in New York and they ship out of Pennsylvania. I don't know if that makes a difference. And I don't know what cities um, some of the other uh, ladies who have had negative experiences with shipping, I don't know what cities they're from. I don't know if the city makes the difference or the proximity to their shipping center, which is like I said, Pennsylvania. So, um... Yeah, her review was not great. So I immediately got worried about the hair that I purchased because like I said, I purchased two of them and there are no returns on it. So this is the item here. This is it here. As you all know, if you've ever purchased from Finger Comer, you get some info cards, some photo cards. It comes with a bow and it, oh, it comes wrapped in um, tissue paper, black tissue paper. And this is the hair. So this is what the other YouTuber complained about. She complained about the thinness of the hair. And in all honesty, it is thin. And I saw it in my unit. Um, and this is what she's kind of talking about. You can literally see straight through this. It's like there's a big line right here, a big separation can pretty much see through the hair and it looks very thin so this is what I purchased and this is what I got now to finger combers credit on the website I did notice that they talked about the thinness of the unit and not necessarily the thinness of the unit, but they do have this exact same picture on the website. It has the non-fluffed and then the fluffed. And they're, they basically say, depending on your style, if you want big hair or um, voluminous hair or um, more conservative hair, you can kind of take it from this to this. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm interested to see how this is going to work. I'm interested to know how I'm going to take this and turn it into any one of these images because essentially that's what they're saying that I can get this hair to do this and look more voluminous. Comes with two combs. Here's the uh, top comb and the comb that goes in the back. It comes with adjustable straps here and their wigs tend to fit their units tend to fit pretty nice and snug, so I've never had a problem. To now, put on the hair. I'm not going to be concerned with any leave out right now. This is not about styling it to suit my hair. This is just getting it fluffed. So, this is this is interesting. Uh, so this is the hair. Already, it looks obviously a little more fuller on than it does off the head, because in all honesty. Um, it doesn't look this full in my hand. I'm going to turn around and have you guys see the back. Um, 
I don't know if it's still a little see-through. It probably is because it seems to be separating pretty naturally. So I'm going to have to work this out. One issue that I already see with this unit. Um, I have some weird hairs here. You see this? Can you guys see this? Let me see if I can get closer. All these little hairs. Um, I don't believe these should be here but like I said I'm I'm gonna work with the wig so if that means cutting whatever I have to do I'll do it the hair is cut kind of strange it's very blunt um, very blunt layers I don't know if you guys can can really tell but it's like you have a blunt layer here and then a blunt layer here and then a blunt blunt layer down here so I'm not sure why it's layered as such as opposed to a natural layer. I'm going to assume it is because once you fluff the hair, it's going, you're going to stretch out some of the curls. So it may create a different look. I don't know. We're going to find out. This is the unit completely fluffed. So, yeah, it's huge. Just going to make sure to make sure it's nice and fluffed in the back. Now that it's big and it is huge, now the issue is this cut. Um, so before I go in and cut this, I'm going to try another technique and um, see if I can give it a little more structure before I cut it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take warm water in a spray bottle. I'm going to lightly mist the hair and then I'm going to put it in two strand twist and I'm going to do it in medium to large sections. So. Okay, so it's the next day. And I'm going to take the twist out and see if I was able to create a better shape for this hair. Alright, so I think it's going to be a little easier now for me to work on the layering because it now has a better structure, I feel, than it did before. It's very, very full. But you can still see, I wasn't able to really get rid of that break in the, um, the break or the breaks in the, the layers. So I'm going to try to do this without butchering the hair. So this side already looks better. I just cut a little right here. And it seemed to kind of take care of that issue I was having um, with these layers.
it's a lot of look it's a lot of hair but I think maybe further cutting could really cause the hair to look great so the verdict is still out I feel like I need more time to play with it but I will say it is quite a process to go through to get hair to look the way you want it to this is a it's, it's more of a process than I thought it would be but I'm willing to work with it and see what I can come up with hey ladies okay so this will be I guess the final installment um, in this video and um, I decided not to do a separate video but to just edit this all together for you guys so this is the unit this is the honeycomber unit and this is my final product this is what I was able to transform it into still you know a good length I don't know if you guys can see it still a good length to it um, but yeah this is pretty much the hair so I will tell you guys exactly how I achieve this so basically I will tell you guys the trick to this I will tell you the trick to transforming your honeycomber unit from this to this so everything you just saw in the video do do exactly that to get this full look the only difference that you're going to do is that when you're done cutting the layer fluffing it two strand twisting it all of that the one thing you're going to do is you're going to wear the wig backwards now I know that sounds crazy but this is the unit on backwards yes that's all it is turn it around turn the wig around wear it backwards I promise you this is it this is what it looks like backwards and to prove it I will show you guys what this looks like when it's not backwards when the wig is worn correctly this is what it looks like as you guys can see the layering is a bit wonky um yeah I mean if you don't mind the layers feel free to wear it like this but I think the other way looks a little better looks neater so again I'm gonna flip the wig around and here it is nice and full big beautiful if you wanted to go in and later a little bit more you could but I don't really see the need to um, so this is pretty much it you don't get a lot of the see-throughness in the back um, and the front lays just fine um, you also lose those beards that were an issue before that were all here that you had to clip that's all gone now so this is pretty much it so if you have a honeycomber unit and um, you're looking for a way to transform it to suit you I know like I said there was a negative review on YouTube and then I saw a couple of other negative reviews online and blogs but this is what I was able to do with this wig so literally this one which is mine which the only difference is, is it has the highlights I'm gonna do exactly what I did with this to this and wear this hair so that's my suggestion to you guys if you have this hair and you're frustrated and you don't know what to do with it this is my recommendation if you want to get this hair you can start with that as a base and work with it um, and do exactly what I did in this video to achieve this look but that is pretty much it ladies I'll right, uh, see you guys in the next video bye